If you wanted to, you could divide all boots into mock toes and non mock toes, basically. My very first pair of boots were mock toes, and if it's not your first, it pretty much should be your second. These are the two kinds of boots that you should know about, and so I wanted to break down some of the some of the history and the ideas behind it and the different kinds of mock toes you might not know existed. And what better place to do that than at Rancourt & Co, which is where I am right now in Maine with Mr. Mike Rancourt. Thank right. you very much for coming onto the channel. Yeah. Thanks uh, for doing this. Yeah, Great. no, you're very welcome. Um, and mock toes, they're actually, they might be more complicated than you thought, right? So we wanted to just run through yeah, the different kinds of mock toes out there and the ways they're worn and some of the myths and misconceptions about them. Uh, Cause it's like one of the biggest categories to know about in all of this. Um, what is, what's the, what's the history of the mock toe? Like where did, where did it start out? So it's been around over a hundred years now. So when you say mock toe, it's, it's actually a genuine hand song. And so it started, I mean, it goes way back, right? So Native Americans were, you know, creating their moccasins, which is just a soft piece of leather. And then what it, they created a rawhide and then they stitched the two pieces together, the tip, which is the plug and the vamp. And so that's really where it started. But now you fast forward to the forties and uh, Bass, yeah, Bashu, the founder of Bashu, Bass, who spent time uh, in World War II created a hybrid uh, Norwegian pattern with a hand-sewn upper. And so that's how it originated, and to this day we still follow that format. There are a lot of brands that'll make mock toes, and, and the only difference between that boot and like say like a plain toe or, or cap right. toe boot like this one, is they'll be stitching here. Yeah. And oftentimes it won't even be holding different pieces of leather together, it'll just be decorative. No, decorative. The hand sewn mock construction that you get in places like Rancourt, uh, it's it's really, it's quite different all around compared to other kinds of boots. I mean, first off, it's, it's truly a moccasin. So we're taking leather, wrapping around the last and then stitching, hand sewing the two pieces, the, the tip and the, uh, and the and the vamp. It doesn't really matter what height it is. I mean, this is still a true moccasin when I look at this. Uh, as this is, as this is, all of these are true moccasins. Uh, this, if you go back to, this would have been my father's days back in the 60s, uh, he was making soft sole moccasins like this. So very little machine stitching on this. This is all done by hand. So this is called a wrap, done by hand, the tip done by hand. Uh, and that was his product. When I joined him in the 80s, then we started moving towards the other categories of moccasins, which is leather bottom, different uppers from cordovan to calf. So when people want to get a mock toe that has the leather wrapping all the way around, that more traditional yep. way of making yep. it, that many people find more comfortable and more conforms more easily to the shape of the foot, they should look for hand, hand sewn mock? Hand is that the terminology to look yeah, for? Yeah, hand sewn mock. Okay, cool. Because then it's a genuine hand sewn process which means that they're taking leather and they're wrapping it around the last versus taking leather and pulling it around the last. See, a lot of people might not know this, like the 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 real like the people who really get into mock construction, it really is like its own sort of culture within the, the culture of boots, you know what yeah. I mean? Like it can be really, it can really be very, very involved and really a completely different product than you might have right. thought. So yeah, different types of mock toes. We've got, so this is a this is a loafer. Beef roll, right? A, be a, a beef roll loafer. A beef roll loafer? Yep. Is that a penny loafer? Uh, penny loafer, you can I'm call just it getting a penny into, I'm just getting loafer, into loafers. I'm but there are different learn. types of pennies, so <laughs> we, we we call this out as a beef roll. So this would be a you know a variation of the bochu or the ranger where we had a three eyelet instead of two, but this is a mock also. Okay, would you, would you call this a bochu? Uh, you can call it a bochu, yeah. Okay. I kind of thought bochus had like the bits of rope around there. Uh, they do, that's what I'm saying, it's a variation of a bochu. Variation of a bochu, right. got it. And then we have these mock toe boots here. So this is a, a fairly traditional mock toe boot. Yep. And then this yep. one, this is sort of the flagship mock toe boot from yep. uh, Rancourt. Exactly. And the big difference between, this is the Harrison and this is the, the, the Baxter. Baxter. The Baxter? Yeah, Baxter. The big difference is this has a, you call this a mud guard, is right, that right? Mud guard. Okay. Yep. It's definitely more rugged because you got, you got extra leather there. Got it. Right? Okay, so it's like it's, a full boot toe cap. Exactly. Got it, nailed it. All right. I don't know about toe cap, but uh, <laughs> it's called a mud guard. It's a little, yeah. Toe well, cap, it, <laughs> mud guard. <laughs> Those are the different types of mock toes. Uh, I want to do some true or false about things you hear about mock toes. <laughs> okay. Mock toes are more casual. In general, yes. Yeah, they tend to be. Yep. I feel a lot more comfortable wearing a t-shirt with a mock toe than with like a, a, a more a plain toe yep, boot, personally. I agree. Mock toes are roomier than other boots. I agree. Yeah, they tend yep, to be roomy? Yep. It's a little more, again, easier to break in, just easier to wear because there's more room in it. So uh, I would say, yeah. Okay. Uh, mock toes are more suitable for work. 
I would say yes, depending on what you do. Because as soon as you punch holes, you're punching holes in leather. So you're gonna allow, you know, the water and you know, other environmental things coming through the punch holes. But like what, what work boot brands, oftentimes like they're, they're, they're flagship boots for, for factory work and that kind of stuff, like whatever it is, they'll be mock toe it's construction. It's a mock toe, yeah. it's not a hand sewn. So the hand sewns are the ones that, the, the, the construction wise, uh -huh. can be roomier because they don't last as tight because it's all being done by hand. And the weight of the leather has a lot to do with it as well, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so if you look at a lasted, you know, mock toe or a Goodyear welted mock toe, those are not true hand sewn. So they're not punching any holes. They're just doing a skin stitch on it. Mock toes are more comfy out of the box. Yes. Again, uh, it, there's not as much breaking in involved because this is very structured. Uh, you know, you have a cap toe, you have a, a counter, uh, which is shaped to the last, and then you have an inner sole which is also somewhat rigid uh, in the back part because it holds up your foot. Here, uh, you have just leather on your bottom and then a, a tuck shank, but the tuck shank is a short piece that sits here and it holds your foot up, but everything else is just leather. Mm -hmm. So m way more flexible and easy to break in than something like this. Here is where for the 50th time in this video, we should emphasize we're talking about traditional mock construction and not when the stitch is just like a decorative right. stitch. Right. Then that's gonna be pretty Very the different. same. Yep. Uh, and the last thing that I didn't find anywhere to mention is that mock toes are much more likely to come with wedge soles than other than other boots. And also wedge soles, they're less likely to catch on stuff and like job sides. Yep. Like that's that's meant yep. to be the reason for it as well. Uh, cool. All right. Pretty thorough breakdown of mock toes. Anything else you want to add? No, I'm, I'm that's great. You asked a lot of questions. <laughs> <laughs> I hope we can we explained it well enough. Yeah, that's what, that's what I'm here for. Yeah. Um, cool. See, so, all right, look, so Ran, Rancourt, they are in the description below. We also did a video with them on how they make their mock toe boots. You check that out if you want like a more in-depth look at, uh, at exactly what we're talking about here when talking about mock construction. Um, and their company's in the description below. Check them out. Like really good, one of the very, very last uh, American-made boots uh, yeah. you can find. And the factory here is, is gorgeous. It's exactly the kind of place you would want to get American-made boots from. Um, so check them out. That's and uh, thanks for coming on. Thank you very much. Thank you.